Warning, this show contains strong language and topics that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. Hey, welcome back to fucking Desperate Housewives. If you didn't meet me last time, I am Louis Fireshirt. I have James Woods, the astronaut, as a husband, and I have a black son. I am playing Desperate Housewives a game. I've just met all of the women, the main characters, and I am now going to start talking about myself. Let's get right into it. My husband's son and I have just moved not too long ago. I came over because I wanted to meet my new neighbors. Uh, I have a doctor husband. We have a son together, and we're looking forward to life in Fairview. There isn't much to say. My family and I moved to town. Ah, uh, Stevie Angel. Oh, how nice. And how long have you and your husband been together? About two days. It was a really quick process, especially the child. It kind of ruined me a little bit. Uh, what's it to you? It's not like I just met you. About 20 years or so. How old am I? I can't tell you the exact number, fucking who counts, right? But it seems like it was only yesterday we were walking down that aisle. Uh, let's go to this one. Um, hello? You're a woman. Shouldn't that number be etched in your mind somewhere? Oh, you're right. It's not like it's a thing both people should fucking remember, right? It's like, oh, Jim, we're at the water cooler talking about football. When were you married? Fuck if I know. Did you see that three-pointer? Oh. I don't know shit about shit. I wish I could tell you all more, but I honestly can't remember that far back. My wedding day is sort of hazy for me. My memory isn't exactly in the best condition. Okay, so I'm... I have amnesia, it seems, and I don't know... I legitimately don't know when I was married to James Woods. That's something I would fucking remember, I like to think. Let's go with... Can't remember that far back. That's a very strange thing to say. I know, right? I'll say. Just what do you mean by that? I don't fucking know. <laughs> if it were up to me, I would remember, but I don't, apparently, because something's happening. Uh, there was a tragic accident about 20 years ago that ruined my memory. I was involved in an accident, and I forgot everything. An accident? Okay, let's do the blushy. My... I certainly wasn't expecting you to tell us that. I'm terribly sorry I asked. Perhaps we should move on. Yes, please. Thank you for making it awkward, Andy. I don't know, Bree. It's not that bad. I know I've got more than a few moments in my life that I'd like to forget about altogether. <laughs> yeah, like, I remember this one time where I shipped the bed, and I'm like, oh god, I wish I could forget this, but no, amnesia. I wish I had a fucking mental disorder. That's great. I'm glad. Fucking, the whole mess used to bother me, but I've since moved on. You can't fucking change amnesia. Ah, uh, it's not that big of a deal. This was hard on knowing much about my past. I've learned to live with it. So drop it. You could just not say that last series of words, and it would totally be fine. You could just not do that. It's been difficult not being able to remember things everyone else can, like my childhood or my parents. Fucking hell, I don't remember my own parents. What is going on here? Uh, let's do this one. Don't take this the wrong way, but that's just so weird. From what you're telling us, it sounds like there's a huge stretch of your life that you can't account for. That's kinda how memory loss works, I don't know how else to tell you. <laughs> how could she possibly take that the wrong way, Gabby? I'd like to take this time to apologize on Gabrielle's behalf. Apparently she's been taking notes from the Edie Britt School of Social Etiquette. I know, right? She's fucking bitch. All I'm saying is that when you only know about one half of your life, there's no telling when the other half might come back for a visit. That's not... That's not how fucking amnesia works, lady. Unless you mean people from the life, not memories. Fucking... I don't know what you're saying. Ladies? What do you say we cut the small talk and get down to business? Hmm? Oh yeah, fucking amnesia and brutal accidents that removed half of my life's worth of memories. That's fucking small talk. How's the weather? Oh, is your dog fine? Do you remember anything from 20 years ago? No, I forgot who my parents are. Alright, cut the chit chat. I don't want our new neighbor to think I'm a snoop or anything, but I saw Edie do something questionable the other day. 
What the fuck? You won't think any less of me for divulging this bit of gossip, will you? Just fucking tell me what she did. I don't care. I... I couldn't think any less of you. No objections. Alright. I saw her sneaking around and digging through people's mailboxes while I was out jogging. Are you sure she's not a mailman? My mailbox? No. It wasn't any of ours. But I thought you should all know about it. Okay. As far as I found it in the mail, it wasn't just for coupons. You just have to hear what I found in my mailbox. You have to hear it. What a coinky dinky. I actually found a thing in my mail not too long ago. It feels like an hour ago, but it was actually maybe 10 minutes ago. What are you talking about? Let me tell ya. Pills? So that's what you was looking for. I wonder what they are. They're probably special extra strength birth control pills. You know, considering how much Edie gets around. So, why, what, okay, so she was looking for her birth control pills or whatever the fuck, and they're in my mailbox for some reason, even though Louie fire shirt is not EB. Or maybe it's something she puts in her date's drink to get them all riled up, wouldn't put it past her. Maybe she's a... She's... Oh god, what the fuck is this shit? Ah, oh, I definitely feel the love here. What does that mean, lady? After all the comments she was making this morning, I could see her doing that. They're probably not diet pills. I bet she drinks slim fast. Oh, is that a burn? I don't know. She probably hold on to these to keep the men safe. You are so going to fit in great around here. I'm so happy. I agree completely, and while I would love to stay and continue this discussion, I gotta go before Tom lets the kids play one of his car racing video games again. Oh no, don't let the kids play Gran, Gran Turismo, they might, they might think it's a shit game. Yeah, I better get going too. I have some work to do on my book. Uh, I have to go. Bye. <laughs> no reason, I just wanna leave. I have to go too. It's been a pleasure meeting you all. Okay, Your oh secrets god. button, indicated by a folder, is where all of the dirt that you've gathered on other people in the neighborhood is stored. Of course, if you do anything secret worthy, it will be listed here as well. So this is where the secrets are kept. Okay. Alright. If you ever find yourself stuck, confused, or want to refer back to tips like these, you can check... I don't want to hear your voice ever again. Okay, husband and son will be arriving home from work and school. Get home. Let's go home and make some food. I ordered Domino's tonight so that I didn't have to cook. And now look at what I'm fucking doing. Alright, let's go home. Band camp. My house. Doop. Doop. Go home faster! Oh shit. Can I help you? What are you doing in my mailbox? Oh, sorry. This really isn't as bad as it looks. That's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, lady. All right, I know it looks bad, but please don't tell the other ladies. Well, you wouldn't know it yet, but our mailman can be a little absent-minded. Ugh, tell me about it. I remember this one time, I got some birth control pills, but didn't have my name on them. Oh wait, that doesn't happen. What? Why would he deliver those? I have some important real estate documents that I was expecting days ago. Explain the pills. These apparently super birth control male pills that you can get online. Of course. Great idea. Thanks again. Get the fuck off my property. I don't even care. I want to go cook something for my for James Woods and my 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 son, my child. Come on. Okay, let's go to the stove. Cook a recipe, apprentice. Okay, vegetables. 
banana meatloaf, fruit salad, French toast, or jalapeno soup. Okay. Banana meatloaf. Okay, I don't know what these are. I don't know why I have them. Let's just... Let's just do this. Let's just make fucking banana meatloaf. Or as I call it, banana bread. Okay, so we're gonna be cooking now. Welcome Let's to your kitchen. Cooking mama. The cooking mini game will allow you to make delicious and nutritious recipe. I know how to cook. General, raw and it's fine. Okay, so preheat the oven to 350. Let's go there. All right. Add butter to the bowl. Where's the butter? Where the fuck's the butter? Oh, show me look. Okay. Uh, that. And that. Okay. Mix. Ooh. This is actually not that bad. Uh, paprika. Oh shit, I gotta add all this. Oh god, oh god, I'm doing it. I was preheated. So, uh, just gonna stir. This thing is really finicky. Okay. And then that goes in there. Now we wait. Oh, it's a countdown. Shit, this is a timed game. I don't even realize. Okay. Alright. Ah, perfect! I made it! I did it! I did it! I made banana bread! With bananas on the side for some reason. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, let's serve. Hey, honey. That smells really good. Oh, thank you, husband. Sorry to scare you. We just got home. Okay. How was your day? Just see how your day. How was your day? It was as busy as can be. There is so much work to do setting up the new office here. I really underestimated how much. Patient files that have to be updated and organized. New computers to network together. Luckily, I found a new assistant to help out around the office. Oh, are you gonna fuck her? Oh, sorry. No. Uh. This- my day's been lovely. I'd love to hear about your day, honey, but I'm really hungry. Is dinner almost ready? This is gonna be like, what, four o'clock? Dude, do you not know how eating works? Can't you even wait until after? It's just about finished, uh, family dinner. Frozen meals in the freezer if you want to make your own dinner, Mr. Smartass, that I married. Uh, alright, let's just be nice. Thanks. I look forward to hearing your story. Okay, good. Hello, son. That's our son. This is our child. That is totally ours. Oh, uh, Mom, this doesn't taste as good as your normal cooking. What is that supposed to mean, Nicholas? That is no way to speak to your mother, young man. I don't even know. Is it good? Was it good for you, James? Because I don't even know. I can't taste it. I'm a fucking... I'm sitting at a computer desk. Okay. He's right, it's gonna take a while to get used to. I worked very hard on this. Fuck you. Let's go with this one. Well, I think this is delicious. Thank you, honey. You're so supportive of me. How did you like your new school? I don't really want to talk about it. Can I be excused? So he's been bullied. Uh, let's, can you do a few minutes at the table with your hot mom and James Woods? That's ridiculous. First you forced me to move to this stupid place. Now you won't let me leave the dinner table. You're not even done, jackass. Fine. What do you want to know? Have you met anyone that you like at school yet? Have you met any girls? Most of them are total losers. There were a couple people that seemed pretty cool. That's not how you make friends, you daft idiot. Oh, really? Were any of them cute girls? Oh, shut up! Oh, fuck, no. I didn't actually want you to ask that, husband. That's... what? Alright. Apparently this game's a fucking mind reader all of a sudden. Uh, tell us more about these cute girls. Oh, that's unnecessary. Alright, let's do this. Well, there is a teaching assistant that seems really helpful in my English class. You got a crush on your fucking TA, buddy? Good. If you make friends with her, she might be able to improve your grades. Uh, or you could just make friends, you dumb idiot. Uh, he doesn't need to schmooze. What the fuck is that? Is that's not even a word. That's not even a word. 
I don't think students and teaching assistants should fraternize. Uh... Oh, honey. He doesn't need to gab up and improve his grades. He's a very smart boy. So, can I go, or do I still have to serve some time? I need to meet my old friends online. I need to record an episode of a suplet, and you're not helping. I should probably say what I'm supposed to be saying. Ugh. I remember when he enjoyed hanging out with us. I think we had the plague. Were we like that to our parents? I just don't know, dear. <laughs> so anyway. How was your day? I don't even remember my parents, so I don't fucking know. Uh, oh, it's so stressful. Yeah, willingly going over to meet my new friends and scaring someone away from my mailbox. Uh, it was so exciting. Got to meet a lot of our new neighbors. Started with this one woman. She came off as a little forward. We seemed to have good intentions. Well, she seems like someone who will make an interesting neighbor. That's such a stock reply. Uh, I was visited by my favorite character in the TV show. Uh, I wanted to gossip. I had so much fun gossiping. They were friendly, but I don't trust them. What's not to trust? They all sound really nice. Maybe we can have them over for a party sometime. Yeah, I like that idea. You can It can be Hercules themed. I've been thinking about it. I, I want to do gardening. Fuck no do I want to do gardening. What a number of interesting people. Yeah, some people are of kind I would definitely like to have over a little get together, and I was not so much. Oh, I actually don't hate any of them, so let's do this. You really have had a long day, haven't you? I apologize for not letting you tell me about it earlier. That's not even a day. What are you doing? Oh, it's been a long day for both of us. You know, you're a doctor. I met some new friends. You know, it's like we're the same person. Hopefully things will settle down around here. I figure it'll be quieter and relaxed. Better apologize, or oh, to, to fucking I hate you, dumb idiot. Uh, let's do this one. Now, what's this? Are you gonna have sex with your new assistant? Oh, there isn't much to tell. How old are they? I'm not sure of her exact age, but I would guess around thirty. Hey, that's not that creepy. Don't worry. I hired her because she had an impressive resume. I wouldn't think otherwise. Clearly not suspicious you at all, meet husband. You ready for dessert? Uh, I don't think I could eat another bite. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I wasn't prepared for this. Oh, I wasn't talking about food. I'm talking about... No, I can't even say it. I can't even do it anymore. Maybe we can just go straight to bed at fucking half four in the afternoon. What time even is it? Okay, we both need some rest. Okay. You can't eat another bite. What are you doing right now? Look at what you're doing now. There's another bite. Right there. Oh, you're gonna do it again? You're gonna do it again? There's another bite. Something wrong with you. Uh, let's, uh, fuck it. Oh? Oh, what a nice idea. I'll meet you up there. Okay, please don't tell me- OH GOD! What the fuck? What? No! I didn't expect that! Okay, at least it spares us up the sex minigame. At least it's none of that. Sometimes. The stars align and two people hit it off immediately. Other times, only time will tell whom will prove to be a friend. I'm so and happy who in my new home. themselves to be oh. a worthy adversary. Okay, I don't like her then, says the video game. What is... Ch I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know that much about the show, I just know a couple of the characters and a couple of the storylines. And I know that I like some more than I like others. Let's just do this, then we can end the episode, because I have a feeling we're going over a little bit. The most successful families are the ones that work together to achieve their goals. 
Yeah, teamwork. Of course, even the best run households have the occasional kink or two to work out. Like forgetting your keys. You know. But the or truth is that no else. matter how well things seem to come together oh, in a God. family, it's appearances fucking can be deceiving. Guy Fieri or something. It looks like Guy Fieri a little bit. And when it comes to friends and neighbors, appearances often have precious little to do with the reality of what's going on behind closed doors. Evil old lady is watching everybody, and I don't remember who the fuck she is. But I think we're gonna find out next time on fucking Brooks Plays Desperate Housewives. Don't knock on my door while I'm doing fucking. Shut up! Shut up! I'm trying to do the outro. Shut up! Stop it! Go away! Go away, you little. No! Alright, fine. Fucking. Hello there. We just wanted to stop by and welcome you to the neighborhood. Next time, do Super Gaming. We have other Let's Plays. You can also do the wrestling thing. Just Google the Supla. Do whatever you want to do. I'm going to talk to Daniel Fox next time.